What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this nice beautiful Thursday. I'm doing real good myself. I come across this amazing story right here. And the reason why I say it's amazing is because this man that you see before you, his name is uh, Jeffrey Nicholas. Okay. And Jeffrey Nicholas happened to kill two Texas uh, police deputies simply because they was in his yard <laughs> chasing dogs or trying to chase a dog. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the amazing thing about it also is that. Well, they took Jeffrey in alive. You understand what I'm saying? He lives to tell the story about killing um, two police deputies. Ain't that amazing? Now, there's a video here, but what I want to do is go through the story and then we'll check out the video. Uh, it says here two deputies killed, city employee injured while responding to dog complaint in Eaton, Texas. Okay. And uh, it goes on to say police arrested Jeffrey Nicholas. 28 on two counts of capital murder of a peace officer. Two deputies were killed and an Eaton city employee was injured where responding to a dog complaint at 8.40 p.m. on Monday night, according to a statement from the Calcho County Sheriff's Office. While making contact with individuals at the residence, an altercation occurred and quickly escalated into gunfire. Okay. This is how deep it is for Jeffrey. You understand? I mean, a uh, dude must have a serious hate for police. But yet and still, they took him in alive. And on top of that, you understand? Um, well, <laughs> they continue to look at black people as a threat. You know, black people, again, you know, we've seen thousands of stories in this country. It seems like that, you know, um, to where black people are complying, don't even have a gun. You understand? And sometimes they don't walk away from, you know, the altercation. All right. But let's continue. A standoff lasted for roughly 30 minutes, according to witnesses on the scene. Nicholas was booked into the Tom Green County Jail. His bond is set at four million dollars. OK, four million dollars. So obviously they figured he got money, but he gets a bond. Do you hear this? A bond. And he murdered two police deputies. All right. <laughs> and this is what uh, Governor Abbott responds, you know, to the death of, on Twitter. You know, Greg Abbott, our hearts go out to the family and friends of two Contro County Sheriff's deputies who were killed in the line of duty last night. This terrible loss is a solemn reminder of the risk our brave law enforcement officers face while protecting our communities yeah against your murderous ass people you understand and you know there's a lot of jeffrey nicholas's out there that just really 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 hate um police officers you understand a lot of times hey it's like cop lives does not matter to them that's what it all boils down to okay remember I, like i said hey this was about a complaint about dogs and he looked out of his fucking window Saw some cops in his yard and went ballistic, basically. Okay, now this says something about down here. Um, I guess it's, it says original story, but it says here, uh, I don't know if it's actually referring to the same story here, but I'm gonna read it anyway. It says two county, county, county sheriff's deputies were killed in a shootout last Monday night in Eaton, Texas, according to the law enforcement. On Facebook, uh, a crime scene on the northeast side of Eaton has been taped off accordingly to San Angelo Live, who is also reporting that one civilian was also shot in the stomach and rushed to Shannon Medical Center in San Angelo. Uh, deputies pulled the suspect over and shouted, roll your windows down and then put up your hands. Witnesses told San Angelo. According to witnesses, the driver fled and barricaded himself in his home around the corner. Um, witnesses then told San Angelo Live that they heard nine or ten gunshots. Eaton Mayor Pete Torres, who lives near the scene, convinced the suspect to surrender according to reports. The shooter was barricaded for about 30 minutes during the standoff. Uh, the suspect was arrested and transported 
in a control county's sheriff's vehicle per San Angelo Live. All right. Yeah, and it, it seemed like they're trying to tie it. I mean, this same thing incident, you know, to Jeffrey Nicholas. That's what it seems like to me. But in conclusion here, it says at this time, the victims who have not been identified and police are investigating motive. KTXS will continue to update you with more information as we learn it. All right. Now, let's check this video out. Let's see what's, uh, what, the, what uh, the people have to say about this. Right after two Concho County deputies were shot and killed last night, and in the last hour, the Concho County Sheriff has identified them as Deputy Samuel Leonard and Sergeant Stephen Jones. They were responding to a call on Bryant Street in Eden. That's about 40 miles southeast of San Angelo. K Texas reporter Daniela Barra joins us from Eden with more. Behind this crime scene tape, police are searching for answers. People who live here say, this type of violence just doesn't happen here. Two Concho County deputies shot in the line of duty. We want to ask that we please keep the families of those involved, the Concho County Sheriff's Office, and the citizens of Eden in your thoughts and prayers. Just before nine on Monday night, DPS says two Concho County deputies and an Eden City employee were called to Bryan Street for a dog complaint. Neighbors say the dogs are known to cause problems. They like to chase people and bite people. The deputies went up to the house when a neighbor came out angrily. DPS says a fight broke out. Then 28-year-old Jeffrey Nicholas pulled out a gun. All I heard was, Jeff, put it down, Jeff, put it down. Pow, pow, pow. The city worker was shot. The two deputies killed. Over dogs. It wasn't, and the dogs weren't even his. Witnesses say Nicholas barricaded himself inside his home for half an hour before he was arrested. Small town, but... It's crazy. The peaceful town of Eden, no longer a stranger to violence. Now, Concho County has two more lives to honor on this National Police Memorial Week. Nicholas is now charged with two counts of capital murder of a peace officer. He's being held at the Tom Green County Jail on a $4 million bond. Now, Texas Rangers are investigating. Reporting in Eden, Texas, I'm Daniela Ibarra. Ain't that a trip? <laughs> Message to law enforcement. Black people are not your enemy, although you seem to be black people enemy. But it would appear that you have an enemy within, okay, that hates your guts just as much as you hate a lot of black people guts. And I'm speaking to the police officers that are racist at this time. Here's your enemy before you right here. And people that think like him about your raggedy ass, okay? That's just what it is. And you turn around. I thought it was all about at the, you know, at the end of the, the, the evening, you know, at the end of the day, you're going home. You know what I'm saying? At all costs. You're going home. Well, these two deputies right here seem to, I don't know, give Jeffrey, you know, all kinds of chances to drop the gun. Drop the gun, Jeffrey. Jeffrey didn't drop the gun. Jo Jeffrey emptied the damn gun on them. You see? And like I say, you know, uh, there'd be a lot of black people, you know, wherever you have a little whatever uh, run ins, they can be compliant and get shot and killed. Unarmed. But not Jeffrey. <laughs> and as we know, we can definitely just say right here, it's because Jeffrey had the complexion for the protection. But their complexion for the protection didn't matter to Jeffrey. <laughs> so that's just what it is. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, your views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.